a sign of fuel poverty is when you pay a tenth of your income. And Harlow, the average Harlow motorist is paying a tenth of their income on fuel costs. The whole country is suffering, and I believe more needs to be done. Firstly, the oil companies need to be much more responsible and pass on the decrease of the international oil price to motorists. Secondly, we should get a guarantee from the government that there will be no more fuel tax rises this Parliament. And third of all, there needs to be a commission that looks at reducing the costs of petrol. There was a huge campaign on this in the run-up to the last budget. Uh, the government did reduce um, fuel duty by 1p. Uh, lots of headlines about that, but actually in people's pockets that doesn't make a huge difference, doesn't it? I mean, isn't it tax is the major part of what we pay at the pump. Yes, of course, and taxes need to go down. They also, as well as the 1p, they also uh, ensure that the last government's 4p tax rise wasn't implemented, which I welcome. But we definitely need to do more. But we can't just blame the government, although taxes need to be lower. The actual issue is the oil companies who are not passing on decreases to the consumers. The international oil price has gone down, yet petrol prices at the pumps have either stayed the same or, in many cases, gone up. And obviously the, the government in that budget uh, introduced a windfall tax on the North Sea oil companies, uh, which it said would, would fund uh, a cut in fuel duty. Are you concerned that that windfall tax will be passed on to consumers through higher prices? No, in fact, I welcome the windfall tax, and I also would go further and say that if oil companies do not pass on the, uh, the decrease in the international oil prices to consumers, they should face further windfall taxes, and the government should then use that to rebate British motorists through the tax system. The problem is, though, that the government um, won't reduce taxes uh, hugely because they can't afford to in this economic climate. And the oil companies are all about making profits, aren't they? So um, I know you're, this is a very populist debate, but actually, is it going to achieve anything? Well, actually, I think that you can do a lot by putting pressure on the oil companies. And hundreds of thousands of people have signed the Fair Fuel and joined the Fair Fuel website. I'm now championing the campaign in Parliament. And I believe if pressure is brought to build, uh, build on the oil companies, Companies. In the same way that pressure is brought to build on the banks, then they will might behave more uh, responsibly.